the bot 2v2 and the wave clear that Shiver has, you're like, it does feel like it's going to be a Canyon Lee Sin game, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it certainly does. And we, I'm, I just, every time I think of Lee Sin and Canyon, I just think of that play from last year in the top side of the map where he pressed oh so God. many buttons in exactly the... That then gets queued by Canyon. Oh, yeah. Jeff able to spell shield a bit of the uh, barrel. With his life just a little bit. Heal is going to be thrown out here. Flash forward from barrel. Man, they are playing some aggressive League of Legends here towards the bottom side, but it's going to bite him in the backside. Barrel goes down. First blood goes to Kellen. It just doesn't matter. Super's damage is too high at level two. In the meantime, bit of a battle here as uh, Fate's going to go down. That's the resonating strike. We knew that he was going to fall. But of that play, they actually do get a huge edge. As let's watch how this one started off. The scatter is dodged, but it forces Fate to kite left, where Canyon actually catches him, can connect the Q there, and just jump past Croco, try and uh, steal it away or anything like that. Canyon nowhere near the vicinity. So, bit of good news over here, but they have mid-prio too. This is risky from Croco, just wants to go for the smite. Kicked yeah. away. There's the kick. Uh, smite does come through, but it's a little bit early. The smite comes in. No, as Canyon in this case, you should get the eye poke because Croco is so far away showing on the map. He could theoretically be walking down. Nature's Grass comes in, but once again, it's a little bit early. Death has the spell shield, but it is going to make sure that they guarantee the Drake. Can they survive the fight though? As Doctor throws through the ultimate. He's going down so incredibly low though. The flash comes in from Death, and the exhaust is there to confirm the kill. Now Croco is fighting against Canyon. Flashes the wall. Being able to get down here. Take down this turret. That is going to be their first of the game. And in fact, first Brick going over to the Zosido on their terms. Going to be able to get the charge. That is going to guarantee vision control of this river as well, because this mid lane is now very long for DRX. Fate going to back here in TP. Soul point that will be available here. Could potentially just go for a fight instead, as now Croco getting a bunch of this help back. There's the Nature's Grass. Now he's just looking for death. Dives towards him. That's going to be the secure of the dragon for D plus gear. And it's a disaster in its entirety for DRX. Oh my goodness. It couldn't have gone more wrong as the Q does miss there from Canyon. But he's got a safeguard. The skate over the wall. Is the Q going to connect? No. But uh, Doc Tom is on the wrong side of the planet. Now, Death is going to come on in. I guess no one really wants to try and tango um, with this Zeri who's now underneath the turret. Death does eventually take it down for 2023. In, um, yeah, in, okay, well, okay. Um, I have to He's not alone. Uh, uh, Kana twice, yeah. unless... A uh, cat and Elise Sin are coming down. Ooh, just barely breeze past him there. As the final chapter comes in, they know that he cannot move, gets kicked back, and there's the Nara into the wall. A very dead Jax that was just trying to split push. Where the Nara bar is, maybe look for a turn here. Yeah. Now they can dive onto him, but Canners, sorry, uh, Canyon's just going to dive over. There is the final chapter. It's a fair bit invested as they just boop him into the dragon pit. Nature's Grasp going to come through. Canner is out. It's going to desperately try and secure this dragon in the meantime. Fate going a little bit too far forward there, but does a lot of work onto Showmaker in that back line. Rascal now takes control of the Drake, but here comes Canner. He doesn't have any Narva, but does he even need it? Fate is going to be taken down first. That's another kill for the Sivir. Canyon grabs another, and the Dragon is just going to be forgotten because D plus gear just want to kill all of DRX's members. It is finally going to be taken down it's here, but now it's hide and seek as DRX attempt to escape. It looked like the fight that would never end, but Kana surviving is massive, comes in there, hops over the wall. He's not done yet either. He's got a Yumi on his back, and he wants to make sure this is a full white rascal also out of luck. And this may be the beginning of the end of this game. Oh, oh. there's the Counter-Strike. There he goes, a thousand gold for the Jack. So that is definitely good news, but the good news is going to stop there for a moment because now Croco is circling the drain. There he goes. Hang on, we really go to the end of this, and it's just really sad. But I think that Damwon Kia are just so patient, even against the Victor comp, where there's so much long-term damage, the Victor can keep chipping away. Ooh, as Def managed to get that kill as well, okay. Rascal is at like zero health. Let's see how this happens. Oh, <laughs> Def just walks forward and that's, wow. <laughs> Sometimes that's a good thing, you know, because um, towards this mid inhibitor turret, the Baron is uh, actually still alive, uh, but they're still just going to try and break things open. Turret going to fall down towards the top side of the map. Good wall up there as Kanner avoids the Counter-Strike. It's, it's less the sort of big circle of death 
that you can have. It's Twisted Advance to get uh, Croco in there, but immediately he wants to get out. The Kick Flash going to come through there. And feel really bad about this one as a DRX fan. As Croco goes close by, you can burst a lot of those health bars down. And even if Croco dies, you're like, okay, did all the health bars of damage, though. For minions, D plus are going to at least take out this inhibitor, maybe more. Yep, and uh, the back is going to be stopped here on the dock. He gets the skate over the walls at the base. The inner turret is going to be taken here on the bottom side of the map as Canyon comes down to power onto this base. His fate has to flash. I don't think it's going to be enough to save him here as Death gets yet another kill. He is on such a rampage right now, even though it, it, it isn't uh, necessarily literally a rampage. And he's also just going to get taken down. The Jacks return the favor from earlier, teleport in to this turret to see what they can do. Zumi's going to come down and the boomerang connects onto Croco, hop to buy some space. Nice sidestep, but I don't think it's going to be enough to save Croco growth angles that he has found in the past. This base 100% in tatters right now as Def is looking for even more. Extendo Beam just going to get eaten by a spell shield. Def not showing too much fear. Some and solidify their first 2-0 win of the season. Final chapter comes in, going to be answered by a stopwatch being broken by Rascal. Gets himself and going to be available. However, it is going to spell the end of this next. Just going to be that body into that front line. The wallop is going to be fantastic. Counter-Strike doesn't last forever, even though he wishes it could. As, oh, no! Not quite enough to be able to take down the Jax there as Croco is going to fall. Canyon gets it as he's getting Bramble smashed away. He, um, although they haven't done very much damage to this Nexus right now. As, oh, Sonic Wave going to miss, but the Scat of the Week is pretty good, Rascal. The one dangerous thing in Death's mind right now as Boomerang Blade comes in, but Shoemaker this time the Unleashed Power is going to come back up again and isn't going to be mitigated by the Jacks. And finally, the Nexus will go down. D plus Kia, 2-0 victory in the first match for the LCK for Spring 2023. Thinking about Beryl staying up all night to try and take down his former team. Well, now Deft is on that former team, um, and so is uh, probably pretty keen um, to make sure that he can stay.